history about this monumental decision. Tonight, the insider investigates the blackfish effect. We are listening to our guests. We're evolving as a company. We're always changing. Do you think this is a straight up publicity stunt? Of course it is. Is it, is, is there, did you hear anywhere in that PR statement that they intend on stopping their breeding program? No. When you look into their eyes, you know somebody is home. Live talk from former SeaWorld trainer John Hargrove, who was featured prominently in the 2013 documentary Blackfish as an outspoken critic of the theme park. Well, SeaWorld San Diego has announced plans to phase out its killer whale show. The news broke yesterday that after much backlash prompted by the explosive documentary, SeaWorld CEO Joel Manby announced that 2016 will be the last year of the killer whale shows at their San Diego park, but that they will be replaced Empty. by a new orca experience, one that is, quote, less about tricks and more about orcas natural behaviors in the wild. Not mentioned are the shows in the other 10 parks spread around the U.S. What do you hope happens to Shamu's? Well, I think, first of all, the whole thing is a sham. Could you be any more vague than a new orca experience? It doesn't matter what they do to how those whales are presented. At the end of the day, those whales are in captivity. On the issue of whales in captivity, SeaWorld spokesperson Jill Kerms had this to say. SeaWorld is ensuring that all animals in human care are treated with the dignity and respect they require and deserve. Since the release of Blackfish in 2013, SeaWorld's stock has dropped by half and profits are down 84%. Meanwhile, outspoken celebrity critics include Pamela Anderson, Jason Biggs, Betty White, and jackasses Steve-O, who was arrested after climbing a crane in Los Angeles to protest the park. How many cops do we have? A great question to pose ever to SeaWorld is, um, right now, tell me how many of your killer whales are on medications and why? and watch them squirm. They are so pumped full of medication, and it's all captivity related. I mean, do you think that killer whales in the wild need their teeth drilled or need to be on Valium or antibiotics? The answer is clearly no. This is really such a heartbreaking story, but at least it's a step in the right direction, and hopefully someday all of the orcas can be free. Amen. Yeah. All right, well, stay